On est où là euh, En Australie. Really is a massive bucket list item ticked. Hello and welcome to Grizzly and Bear Overland with Lee and Steffi. This week is the last episode of our family trip in Queensland. Good mate, thank you. That's the way. Cheers. Good morning. Good morning. Thank, you. thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard Reef Adventure for your great adventures cruise. Our crew members will show you okay, where these life jackets are life stored. After about 45 minutes of boat ride, we arrived at our first stop, Green Island. We collected some snorkel equipment included in the package. Apparently on Green Island there is 1,500 different species of fish. Let's see how many can we spot today. Little fishies. Little? I want to see big ones. Oh, okay. We did sell a few little fish before returning on the boat. The Great Barrier Reef is the largest barrier reef in the world and it's the only living structure visible from the reef. It was a rough 50 minutes journey to a platform out on the reef. Straight away, Mum, Jerome and Greg embarked another little vessel for a special experience a short helicopter flight over the Great Barrier Reef. Unfortunately, the weather was really average. Despite the lack of blue and turquoise colors, they really enjoyed themselves. Welcome back. How was it? Very, very The formula included some time in an underwater observatory where we could look at the sea life through glass. Back onto the platform, we collected the snorkeling equipment. There is a designated diving area and a pontoon to easily go in and out. The water was a little bit cold, but this was a highlight of the day. Almost an hour of snorkeling, looking at so many amazing fish and corals. It's been an absolutely beautiful three days here at the beautiful campsite in Kuranda. Nice little extended stay compared to the, uh, the fast paced sort of movement we've had over the last month. Now it's time to head even further north. We've got some exciting couple of days ahead and also a little bit emotional because we're coming to the end of this family holiday. We had an absolutely incredible time. First time we had that many family members from France and Australia together in one place since Steffi and I's wedding eight years ago. We arrived at Bruce Crocodile Cruise. We're gonna go on a boat along the river and hopefully we can spot some frogs. We booked a tour on the Dentry River in the hope to spot some saltwater crocodiles. Saltwater crocs or salties can live up to 80 years old. We spotted a 5 meter long male, estimated to be 700 kilograms. The saltwater crocodiles are territorials, and their territory can spread over 7 kilometers. They can move at a speed of 4 meters per second. The 
this was a great tour. We spotted some other wildlife, like this beautiful azure kingfisher. But what we enjoyed the most is the fact that they are not feeding the animals or disturbing them. On our way to the campsite, we were very lucky to come across a cassowary. Native to the tropical forest of New Guinea and northeastern Australia, it is the third tallest bird after the ostrich and the emu. The cassowary has often been labelled the world's most dangerous bird. Welcome to the magnificent Cape Tribulation and Daintree National Park. Now this place is unbelievable. We're literally camped like 10 meters from the beach. Cape Tribulation campsite, which is a very beautiful campsite. Little bit pricey, <laughs> 50 bucks a night for an unpowered site, but you know, what do you do when you're in a place like this? Sometimes you, you have to do it. I'm so excited to be here because the Daintree National Park, it's a World Heritage listed rainforest or national park. And it's been a dream of mine to come here for a long, long time. Gregory, he wanted a fresh coconut, so what do you do? Got to be a good uncle, you know, so I got the rock climbing gear out. The final pack up of the green machine and Jerome and Gregory will be heading back to France tomorrow morning. We drove from Cape Tribulation back to Cairns. About to say goodbye to our saviour. Thank you very much again, Mum, for <laughs> The miracle in getting this, and that's it. Au revoir. Yeah. That's it. Thank Jill to find this uh, van. It was amazing. <laughs> Thanks a lot. It was now time to say goodbye. You're real, big boy. I'll see you again. You're beautiful. Love you. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiled boy. I never even got hugged. We dropped my brother and his son at the airport. We were feeling sad, but so grateful for the amazing three weeks we just spent together, creating the best memories. Bon voyage et à bientôt! My mum isn't returning to France for another two weeks, so we made the most of those precious moments together. It's been two weeks, pretty much since we haven't been doing any filming whatsoever. We did catch up with Dan Grek and Katie from The Road Chose Me, which was pretty awesome. 
to see those guys again and we spent some really good quality time with them. We talked hours and hours and hours of great conversation. It was just so cool buzzing off each other's uh, adventures, pushing each other to go in certain directions. It's been a, a hectic um, six weeks, I guess, since Steffi's family arrived today. Steffi's mum, Evelyn, she's flying back to Paris. So it's um, it's sort of the end of the French family adventures with us, with them. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be emotional for sure. She loved her holiday, I hope. Evelyn, did you? <laughs> it's been amazing, great to spend quality time with family. My parents are... <laughs> were right there they've gone already we just said our goodbyes very exciting time Steffi and I are going to be making our way to the north it's time for Cape York the tension the excitement the nervousness has been building over these past uh, probably yeah, three or four weeks now we've done a lot of vehicle maintenance still got a few things I'm, I'm not sure about a couple of mystery clunks that I'm I'm nervous but whatever we just got to go back to the same airport two weeks later Mom was sad to leave Grizzly and Bear. The goodbyes were very difficult. But next time, it won't be three and a half years before we see each other again. Promise. <laughs> <laughs>